I'll go to my channel and here I'll be showing you how to construct a circle on oblique faces of an oblique cube. How to construct a circle on the oblique faces of an oblique cube. And as you can see uh, here, so these are the faces that you want to construct the circle. Uh, though we have done that of this one, but before I move on, I need to explain some things to you. Now, look at this uh, diagram here. This is an oblique cube, and this is the front face, this is the side face, and this is the top face. But let's talk about the front face uh, first. For this front, front face, if you look at it, is a normal square, as we know that the faces of a cube are in uh, are in form of square. So this is a normal square, as you can see here. The reason why it is a normal square is that this face is or uh, is parallel to the horizontal projection plane. So it's placed on the horizontal axis of uh, an oblique uh, on, of an oblique uh, axis. So we have this face to be a square. So if I'm to draw a square on this face, it will be a normal square or any feature. That I want to put on this face will be in a true length or in a true shape. Okay, then for this face, which is side face and the top face, if you look at them, they are in form of a rhombus. The reason why they are in form of a rhombus is that uh, this line known as a receding axis, also this line known as a receding axis, and this line known as a receding axis, they are at angle 45 degree to the horizontal. So that makes them to be in form of a rhombus. So for us to construct a circle on this face, we need to do some things that I'm going to explain here right now. But, um, okay, so we are done with that. Now let's come to the front face here. So if you look at this front face, so the circle on this front face is a normal circle. It's a normal circle. And what I did here is that I constructed this circle, then I drew a square around it, so after that, I located point P, so which is a center line for this circle. Um, uh, okay, so point PR and point QS, so which are center lines of this circle. Then I divide the circle into 12 equal parts, but I need something on this circle. That's why I drew it like this. So we are uh, through this point, through this point and this point, we draw a vertical line. And through this point and this point, we draw a vertical line that touches the circle up and down. And we have point 1, point 2, and point 3 here. So also, on this uh, horizontal, so I drew a line uh, from this point and this point to get this line for 2. This point and this point, I drew a line to get this point for 1. Then we have this uh, line uh, QS here. Okay, so those are things that we are going to make use of. So if you come to this side also, I've also located point P, point Q, point R, point S. I did the same thing here. So I need to locate point 1, point 2 uh, on this face. So as you can see here now, I have my point 3 here. So this is point 3. If I want to write it, this is point 3. So also I have point 3 here. If you look at it. So I will also have point 3 at this point. And also at this point, I will have point 3. If I do the same here, this is point 3. Okay, so this is point 3 here. So here I also have point 3 and here I also have point 3. So all I need to do now is to locate point 1 and 2 and that will be done like this. So I'll just put the midpoint of my compass at point P here. Okay, so I will extend to point 1. So point 1, extend it to point 1. So putting it at point P here, so I will locate point 1 here on this side and also on this side. So I need to do the same thing for this point S here. So to locate point 1 here, and I will also locate point 1 here. Okay, so if I put it at R at this point, so I will locate point 1 here, and also point 1 here. So if I put it at Q, so I will locate point 1, and I will also locate point 1. So we have gotten point 1 all around. Now, so from P again, so I will put it at 2. So this is point 2 here. Okay, so putting at P, so I will look at point 2 here and point 2 on this side. So putting it at S here, so I will look at point 2 here and also I will look at point 2 here. So putting it at R, so I will look at point 2 here on this side and on this side. So if I put it at Q, so I will look at point 2 here and here. 
okay so i've located those points so then i'm going to number this so this is point two this is sorry point one this point two this is one and this is two so this is one and this is two this is uh one and this is two so this is one and this is two here is one and two so this is two and this is one this is one and two so i've located those points so the next thing that i'm going to do is to join them together so as we have done here so we are going to join them together so i'm going to pause the video and join the points all right so i've joined the point together so for this uh part i joined point two and two together point one and one and here also i join one and one and two and two together so the next thing that we have to do now is to locate the point that we are going to join together to obtain the oblique uh, circle so what i'm going to do now is that so we have point p here this is point p okay so we have point p and then so we have this point then we have this point just look at me then we have this point s here then here we have this point okay so then we have what we have this point so here we have this point then here we have this point okay then so here we have this point here so then we have this point q here so here we have this point and we have this point so all these points we are going to join them together with the use of a french curve to obtain a circle on this face so and then we take note of the kind of shape that is going to give us so for us to okay so um, all right so i can join these three points together like this okay so i've joined those three points so and then I can join these three points together. Okay, so I have those three points. So then I come in here. So I can join these three points. Um, okay, so I've joined those three points. all right so then so we move on so i should be able to join this to the point together okay so i need to adjust the french curve that's what i'm trying to do all right so i've been able to join those three points together so then the next thing that we have is to join this point together to join this point together so let me join these two points together like this okay so then so these two points I can join them together okay so this point so these two points i can join them together like this and so the last one is these two points so i can join them together like this all right so now so we have we have the circle on this face and this method that we use is known as offset method so known as offset method so this is the side face so let's meet on the video for the top face so thank you